Good night, my beautiful little starlight. It's time for bed. So hop on in and snuggle up. We're about to go on a wonderful adventure. But before we do, take a nice big long stretch. Oh, that's right. Stretch out all your body. And when you're ready, have a little wiggle and lie nice and still. Softly close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose. Notice as you breathe in, your belly rises up and breathe out, noticing your belly goes down. That's right. And again, breathe in, push your tummy out and breathe out as your tummy goes down. Perfect. So let's do that one more time. Nice big breath in and breathe out nice and slow like a balloon letting out all its air. Feel your body becoming all floppy and floaty. Feel yourself sinking down into your wonderful, soft, comfy bed. Listening to the sound of my voice and letting all your muscles of your body relax. Oh, feel yourself floating down, sinking down. Now, does sleepy start at the top of your head and go all the way down through your body? Down to the very tips of your toes? Or is it the other way around? Do your feet get warm first? Then the comfy, sleepy feeling spreads all the way to the top of your head. Or does it spread out from the middle of your tummy? So you feel comfy on the inside and comfy on the outside. Inside and outside, comfy and sleepy all over. Your legs are all floppy and your arms are all floppy and your head is sinking down into your beautiful soft pillow and your eyelids are so heavy now that it's impossible to open them because they are glued shut, sealed shut and locked tight. And you know that you can see perfectly well with your eyes closed because all boys and girls have the most wonderful imagination way better than grown-ups so I want you to imagine you're playing in a park a rather special park the sun is shining and it's a wonderful day you can feel the warmth of the sun on your skin you can hear the birds singing in the trees above and you're playing with your very, very special favourite friend the favourite person in the whole wide world and you know exactly who that special friend is your special friend lays down a picnic rug onto the green grass under a big old fig tree and they invite you to sit down with them they would like to tell you a special, magical story. An incredible special story. You're feeling a little sleepy. So you sit down. Cross your legs as the warmth of the sun envelops you. And your friend begins their story. And you know, this is a special story because it was written just for you. They whisper softly and you lean in to listen. They say, When God made the universe and created all the little boys and girls, 
He places a star in the night sky for every child born. And when you look up into the sky at night, you can see million, maybe trillions of dazzling, shining, sparkling stars. And every child's star is different. There's different sizes, different colours, and even different shapes. Some stars shine bright. Some stars just flicker. And some stars are shy, and they hide behind other stars. But each star, all different, all unique, and all special, in their very own cosmic way. Just like all the boys and girls. No two stars are alike. No two the same. Which star do you think you are? You are not created to be a carbon copy or identical to all the other stars in the sky. You were not created to be the same as your parents or the same as your friends. Not even the same as your brothers and sisters. We were all created different. And you can never be like anyone else. Because you are you. I am me. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Being different is a good thing. How boring would the world be? if we all were the same. What could we learn if we all liked the same things, played the same games? Imagine if we all liked to bat the ball but no one liked to pitch or throw the ball. That would be no fun. Your friend explains that we all can't be good at the same things either. Some of us are good at sports. Or some of us are good at maths. But hey, that's okay. Some of us are good at drawing. Or some of us are good with animals. But hey, that's okay too. Because I am me, you are you, and that's the way it's supposed to be. We are all blessed with our own blueprint. God made us all different with our own very special gifts. You may think, I'm not very good at sports, but I love to cook. Or I'm not keen on cooking, but wow, can I sing. We all have our very own special gifts to offer the world. Then my friend tells me, what fires up my star so it shines the brightest in the sky is when I'm doing that one special thing that makes my heart sing. That special thing that makes me smile, makes me happy and excited and all fuzzy on the inside. Whether it's reading a book or swimming or playing football, or maybe building things. What's your special gift? Whatever your special gift is, it is unique to you. Because you are you, I am me, and that it's okay to be different. That's the way it's supposed to be. Do you know that there is nobody else exactly like you? Which means that you are very, very special. So you can be very proud of yourself for just being you. A very special person to be. You make friends easily. Everyone can see how special, bright and dazzling you are. You love to show off your special gift. 
You are amazing just as you are. Feel how happy you feel showing everyone just how extraordinarily clever you are. Now think of all the things that you love to do. What makes you happy? Remember, you are special. You are lovable. You are good enough. You are the star that shines the brightest in the night sky. When you are happy, everyone around you is happy too. And now that you know how special and unique you truly are, you can be happy, calm, relaxed and confident wherever you go and whoever you're with. You can see all the special qualities about you. You know that you are you and I am me and that it's okay to be different. That's the way it's supposed to be. Every child is something to offer the world. That's why we're all different. We all look different. We all like different things. We even like different foods to eat. I love mangoes, but do you? Everyone has their own likes and dislikes. That's what makes you special. Now think of some of your friends. Can you spot their special gift? What makes them different to you? What makes their star shine? What do they like that you don't? They might like one thing, but you like another. But hey, that's okay. Because you are you. I am me. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Every day you say, I'm different because I am me. I'm not you. I am me. And that's the way I was born to be. And I like being me. I like the way I look. I like the way I think. I like what I do. I am me. I'm not you. And that's the way I like it. I love being different. That makes me feel special because I am unique. A one of a kind. Very, very special. So... Stand tall and be proud of who you are. You are you and that is who you are meant to be. So light up the sky. Shine. Shine your light for all to see. Be the brightest star in the universe. You came here to do a job of being you. So do the best job you can and next time you look up into the night sky see your star shining the brightest for all the world to see because you are happy confident and special just the way you are so knowing this and believing this it is time to say goodnight to your special friend and gently, peacefully drift off to sleep. Tonight you will dream the most magical dreams. You love to listen to this recording and you listen every night and in the morning you'll wake up happy, knowing deep inside just how special you truly are. Because you are you. I am me. And that it's okay to be different. That's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, so good night, my little starlight. Sweet dreams.